Welcome to my mathematics class. My name is Maina. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at um, the application of Pascal's triangle. Like in the example I've given here, we are required to use Pascal's triangle to evaluate 1.02 raised to the power of 4, correct to 4 significant figures. So, we need to use what we had in our last uh, lesson. We had Pascal's triangle uh, for power 2, power 3, power 4. So, the line of Pascal's triangle that we need is this one where the coefficients are 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. Now, in our mind, we must have the expansion of a plus b raised to the power of 4. That's something we had looked at in the uh, previous video. And so that's what we need right away here. Now, when we look at um, the given question, we have uh, 1.02. I think it's good to note that we can split this one to 1 plus uh, 0.02 or 4. And therefore, our A now is 1. Our B in the binomial expression is 0 0.02. And therefore, when we are expanding, we shall rem remember that this 1 will therefore be raised to power 4, this part will now is now raised to 0 because we, uh, we, we know that A will be raised to 4, B will be raised to 0 and this is plus. Now we go to the coefficient and that coefficient is going to be 4 and then this time 1 will be raised to the power of 3 1 will be raised to power of 3. 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. So we can actually uh, leave it out. And then the part B will be raised to power 1. Right? So you see, 1 power 4, 4, A power 3, B power 1. And then we shall go to the next coefficient, 6. And this time, 1 will be raised to power 2. And then 0 0.02 will be raised also to 2. So that um, we can have the total for the indices getting to 4. And therefore, we can still go to the next one, that's 4. This time now we have uh, A uh, raised to 1 and B raised to 3. So um, a 1 will be raised to power 1 and 0 0.02 will be raised to power 3. And finally we shall have 0 0.02 raised to the power of 4. Maybe we can go over that again, that the expansion of this one is just like the expansion of A plus B, where we have taken our A to be 1, and the B, and that our B to be 0 0.02, and we start with A having the highest power and going on decreasing, so here A will have power 3, yeah, and B will have power 1, and then here A will have power 2, and B will have power 2, here A will have power 1, but then our A in this case is just 1. So 1 times any, any number of times just becomes 1. Yeah, 1 times 1, 1 times 1 times 1 is just 1. So <clears throat> the remaining bit now is to simplify this. And 1 raised to the power of 4 is just 1. Then here we have 4 multiplied by this, and that gives us 0 0.08. Thus, now we have uh, 6 times this. That is uh, 6 times, no, we are squaring this. Uh, that's 6 multiplied by, this is going to be 4, uh, correct to 4 decimal places. So we have 0 0.00. 
zero, four. Yeah. And this is going to be eight. Mm, eight times four. This is zero point. This is going to be four plus. There's a plus sign there. It's plus, and then four into zero point. That is going to be uh, six decimal places. Therefore, we have zero point zero 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 zero, and that's five. And then we have eight. Plus now this last one. But you remember that we are told up to four significant figures, so it might not be necessary even to go to all those other um, decimal places. But let's work out this one. This is 2 raised to 4, that's 16. And that's going to be how many decimal places? That's going to be 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. 8 decimal places. Right. So um, we need now to add this one very carefully. So the very first one here is 1. And then we have 0 0.08. Then this one is going to be 24. And that's going to be 0 0.12, then 24. And then this one is uh, 32. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, and 6. That's 3, 2. You, you can see at, at this point, oh, from what we were asked to, to get up to four significant figures, we, we may not need to go to this last one here although there is actually no harm in adding it so we have one two three four five six seven eight and so we have zero point zero 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 that's one two three four five six seven eight and we can add this up and then round off so that we have uh, six one, two, three, four, two, eight, zero, one. And this is approximately equal to, mm, now we count, one, two, three, four. Now this zero here is significant because it is between one and eight. And therefore, we need to count one, uh, okay, well, four significant figures. So one, two, three, four. Look at this and it's less than five, and therefore that part can be ignored now. And we have 1.082. So we stop there. We'll pick up from there in our next video. In the next one, we are going to look at a question from a past paper, applying this binomial expansion and Pascal's triangle. And then we are going to work it out together. So make sure you do not miss the next video. And the best thing to do is to subscribe so that whenever there is a new video, you can be informed. Otherwise, until next time, it's goodbye from me.